ever done a stock pot this big before. No. 12 quart capacity. What's really important is we all need these in our homes because there's all things like soups and stews and yeah, big meatballs when yeah. we're cooking for a crowd. But how do you get a 12 quart um, stock pot that is lightweight? Well, this is enamel on steel. Wow. So literally, I just want to show you something. I can pick this up with one hand. Nice. This is like your grandmother had with that beautiful screen printing right there of the old world and the floral lace mix. This is the confetti. Look, even the top right there, we do that gorgeous finial. Helper handles on the side. Mm -hmm. But with the reason we love oh, nice. enamel on steel is because it's lightweight and it's durable. So the only weight in here is what you fill it with. Wow. So you know how your grandma always had something like churning on the stove, sure, no matter sure, what sure. it was? Yeah. How about having something so pretty? Cause she probably had just a, that big gray one, yeah, right? right? That's what my mom had. <laughs> this is beautiful and Listen to that. Yeah. This is hand wash, okay? You're gonna take okay. good care of this one for okay. sure. Mm -hmm. So the colors that we have are going to be the confetti, and we've already lost some colors. Wow, these are popular. Isn't this gorgeous? Because you know what? Everybody needs this in their kitchen. Mm -hmm. Here's the blue, and here's what I love about it. The saturation of color on that enamel on steel, and look how the white old world and floral lace pops off of yeah, it. Yeah, that's striking. Imagine leaving this out. Ah. Oh. Beautiful, uh, all right? All the time, yeah. Antonella, look at the green. Wow. Isn't this gorgeous? Ooh. And then at the very end is the black. So all you have to do is pick your favorite color and get cooking. So this is a 12 quart stock pot with yeah. the enamel on steel lid. Yeah. Um, it's 35 and a half, it, is that right? 35 and a half inches long? That's not right. No, that sounds kind of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this Sorry. card? Sorry. Well, anyway, the, this might be right. The lid is 11 Ooh. inches in diameter. Okay. I love this. Oh, look. I, um, I'm going to play a game with you. Guess how many meatballs are in here. I can't even begin. Are you ready? What? 140. No! 100. And this is 12 quarts. How big are the meatballs? You guys, here you go. I'll show Wait, you one right see. here. Oh, it's a meatball. It's a meatball. It's a meatball. You're not playing. And look at the bubbling all the way around. Enamel wow. and steel is a wonderful conductor of heat. I love the fact that you can pile it as high or as low as you yeah. want. You pop that top on. Mm. Oh, thank you for that. I know. Did you ever think you wore the wrong shirt? Oh, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happens sometimes. Um, you know what? I love this for coming up with lobster bakes. You know oh, what I mean? Like a low country boil? Yeah. Yes. Or a corn bake or uh, a mussel bake. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this what? stew. What How do you about do? this? Is it chili? Is this it is stew? What is it? Chili. Mm. So let me just put the top down right here. Okay. Okay. And look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this into our big deal, our big deal right here. Yeah. But again, the fact that now look mm. at this, stir it all around. Like I actually feel like I'm on the Food Network right I now. Know, I know it's so good. Like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I there's something Ooh, so comforting, rib sticking and comforting. <gasps> this is love in a pot, you guys. Look and at this. And it's one of the easiest ways to cook. I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things to do is one pot cooking. And, you know, we're all busy, and on your day off, the last thing you want to do is sit there and slave over a stove. What is so great about a pot like this is I usually take, on the weekend, I will take everything that's left over yeah. from the week, yeah. and I put it into a pot like this, and I slow simmer it all day, oh. and it's so good. It's got all the love and right? yum from the entire week yum. in it. It's the best. Like, look at that. And then when there's leftovers, all you have to do, you gotta clear some room in your fridge, yeah. but here's the story. All you have to do is just put this right into your fridge, yeah. put it back onto the burner the next day, warm it back up. How about it's soup season, right? Oh, oh my gosh, it's my now look at this. Goodness, what's in there? Some awesome chicken soup. Oh, that looks so I mean, good. look at this. Yes, yeah. how amazing this is. Chicken noodle soup uh -huh. for a crowd. Like, don't mm. buy this. No, don't buy it. Don't Make buy it. It's it. so much easier to chop up a little onion, a little celery. Don't forget right? the celery. Celery makes the best part of it. Um, I have a recipe for my, I call it my mom's magic soup because whenever you, you eat do? it, yeah, you feel better right away. Oh my God, this smells so It's so heartwarming. Good, right? Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Yes, yes. So, again, this is something that literally, if you don't have this, 
You don't even know you need it yeah, until you, until get, you it get it home. Yeah. And then you start to realize you can do your mac and cheeses in mm. here. You can do your chilies, your soups. Yeah. You can start over here by putting your broth and doing your oils Is and your, your spices. Do you, want, do you want to start anything? Sure. Else? Let's do it. I'll let's pour do it, it in for you. I don't know exactly sure what else we're putting in here. Oh, this is But good. let's do it. We're going to do our broth. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, careful. That's hot. That's a hot. And then am I adding my spices? Mm. Oh, yeah. Perfect. We're and then go do in. I have some meat to add in? Underneath. Down below. So look at this. I think together like, we can figure this we're out. We're actually going to cook a meal here. You look, I want to show you right here. Go I'm ahead. adding my spices I'm from the Oval I'm just doing everything, and you know oh. why? I'm going to do everything You're going to make a stew once. for me? I am, because the thing is, is if you go ahead, if you don't want to be bothered with the this, the that, and the other thing, put it all in. You can use this as if it's a um, slow cooker. You know what I mean? Not at all in there, all at once. Yep. And then what else you got over there that we can um, add here. to this? Um, I and think it'll sit for the. We oh, might give me have those done onions. Give me those slightly onions. backwards. No, but I it's know okay. we were going to saute them, but what we're going to do is steam these instead. See? Yeah. As, and it'll be. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. And now, don't bring the cheese into play yet. Okay, not yet. But this will just sit and simmer <laughs> all day long, the whole king caboodle. You put the lid on. You put the lid right? on, you let this simmer, the onions will soften up. Oh, I love and this. And they'll just open up to the meat and the potatoes. Then the potatoes will bloom open as well. Mm -hmm. The meat will softly simmer and get super, super tender and juicy. And you know what? You don't have to play with this. Don't play with it. I love this. You put this. it together, you put the lid on, you're done. And I want to show you something because this is is full of soup. It's a 12 quart capacity, but it's enamel on steel. So it is, look at this, how filled up that is. Can you see that? Wow. Like this is more than three quarters of the way filled right But what's there. nice is you see make that? it all in one shot, right? Yes. The family eats what's left, you put away. You can actually put soup into um, like Ziploc baggies oh, I and love that. put it in your freezer in single serving. And did you see how I lifted that? Easy. Because the only weight that's in there is what I filled it with. So let me show you the colors real quickly. Okay. Okay. This is going to be the confetti. This is enamel on steel construction on here. Helper handles on the side. We have that beautiful finial right at the top, right there, which is just beautiful. And this makes it so temptations. And I love the fact that the lid fits perfectly inside. Mm. Enamel on steel, durable, but lightweight. Nothing new about it. It's what our grandmothers use. That's why Tara brought this back to life in temptations. Yeah. yeah. Here's the confetti. And if you want to pop a color, I would never take this off my stove. No, it's so pretty. It's too pretty, yeah. right? How about that cobalt blue? Wow. Where the saturation of color and that white that just pops off of there in the old world and the floral lace, we call that classic when we mix the two patterns. Boy, that green, I gotta tell you, that's a showstopper. Yeah. And at the very end, we have the black. You know, we forgot this. Oh, so I love that. We can eat this later. Uh, I know. We'll probably right? will. Yeah. I, I loved Antonella, so we probably will. It's just, a, yeah. Was and 140 it? meatballs in here. She's the way. See, that's I, what I like is we can oh. make a big meal or a little one, you know? It doesn't matter. Either one. I feel like good. I'm in Nona's kitchen. I know, right? Right? You're, my, my Nona, your Nona. Your Nona. Yeah. Did your you, Nona or my Nona. Uh, is that what you call it? Nona? Nona, yeah. You know, my sister is a grandmother, and her name's uh, Petite Nona.